Hello there fellow gamer, are you tired of playing Ark Survival on crowded public servers? Well today I've got something exciting to share with you. In this video I'll guide you through the process of installing and setting up your very own Ark Survival game server on a Windows VPS. Trust me, once you have your own game server, you'll experience a whole new level of freedom and enjoyment in the game. But first, let's talk about why having your own ARC server is a game changer. By hosting your ARC survival server on a Windows VPS, you have complete control over the gameplay environment. You can customize settings, modify mods, and even invite your friends to join your private server. Imagine the endless possibilities of adventure, creativity, and collaboration. Plus, with a game server, you can ensure a smooth and lag-free gaming experience. And hey, if you're interested in following along, I highly recommend checking out Rackner.com. We offer top-notch Windows VPS hosting solutions that are perfect for running your Arc Survival game server. With our affordable pricing, robust infrastructure, and exceptional customer support, you can trust Rackner to provide you with the ideal server for your gaming environment. Now let's go ahead and dive into that step-by-step -step installation process. I'll walk you through each stage from selecting a reliable Windows VPS provider like Racknerd to installing and configuring your server settings and launching your Arc Survival world. Don't worry if you're not a tech expert. I'll break it down in a beginner-friendly manner so you can follow along seamlessly. Okay, so I'm on my screen now and let's get started with choosing a reliable Windows VPS provider like Rackner. So let's head over to Rackner.com from the submenu of the Windows VPS. Select a plan that suits your requirements in terms of resources and performance. In my case, I will select the four gigabytes of RAM plus two V cores at 3059 a month to make sure that my Arc Survival server will run smoothly without interruption. Next, we will be prompted to customize our order for checkout. Create an account or just log in with your existing account that you have with us and pay for the Windows VPS order. For an in-depth tutorial about ordering a VPS with us here at Racknerd, please check out our video on how to order a VPS with Racknerd, which I will link in the description down below. Once our VPS is active, let's go ahead and get access to our VPS credentials from the email sent to our inbox, or we can also view the email log messages in our Racknerd client area. We connect it to the remote desktop protocol, also known as RDP. We can access our VPS through the provided login credentials and RDP built-in software like remote desktop connection on Windows. Once we're logged in, create a folder with any name you want as your installation directory for your game server. In my case, I will go ahead and name it Arc Server. Now it's time to download and install Steam CMD. It's a command line tool that will allow us to install and update the Arc Survival server files. So from the browser, go ahead and navigate to this URL. I'll add it in the description down below also to download the necessary executable file. Once the Steam CMD has been downloaded, extract the content of the zip file and then copy the executable file to our newly created directory folder that we made earlier. Now go ahead and double click the executable file steamcmd.exe to open up the steamcmd console command prompt. Inside the steamcmd console, it will start the process of downloading the server files. Once done with the downloading process, paste the Paste and run the following command to log in. Now run the following command to start the installation process of our Arc Survival game server. The installation process may take some time depending on our internet connection. Once it's complete, feel free to exit the Steam CMD console and now it's time to create and customize our game server start settings. To get started, navigate to the Arc server directory we just created and append this path on the address bar of the folder. And from here, let's go ahead and enable our file name extensions by navigating to the view menu of the folder and checking the file name extensions. Once done, we will need to create a batch file for us to use for starting an Arc server. To do this, create a new text file document, name it whatever you would like, and paste the code in the description and save it with the .bat extension. Inside the batch file, you can modify the Racknerd Arc server and Racknerd's admin password. And feel free to customize other settings to your liking by replacing the words or characters between the equal sign and the question mark. 
Just don't forget to save the file once you're done modifying it. Next, it's time to log into the necessary ports to allow through our Windows Server Firewall. From the search bar, search and open the Windows Defender Firewall with advanced security in the Windows Server. And now please pay attention and follow along on exactly how to do this. It gets a little hard to follow here. Here are the rules we need to create to allow the port for our ARC server. I will also paste the reference in the description down below. Please feel free to check it out if you want to follow along. Once done with the new firewall rules, let's go ahead and start our ARC server by navigating to our installation directory and double clicking the batch file we've just created earlier and wait a few moments for the server to be online. In case you're unable to start or run your ARC server and it's turning a missing file or a .dll, error, please download and install either of the web installers below in the description into your Windows server. It should fix that error. Once it's ready, open up your Steam client, click View, Server and Favorites tab, then click Add a Server button. Now let's go ahead and copy and paste our Windows VPS IPv4 address here and click add this address to favorites. From here, we can connect to our server by selecting our server name and then clicking the button connect. If you receive an error message like server not responding like this, please ignore and launch the ARC survival game in your local PC. And once you're in game, click on join ARC and navigate to the sessions filter below and select favorites because we've added our own ARC game server in our favorites list on Steam. Now our ARC game should show up on the screen. So just select the server and select join. And once you're able to connect to your own ARC server, then that's it. Congratulations, you've successfully installed and set up your very own ARC survival server on your own Windows VPS from Rackner. So now that you have your Arc Survival game server up and running, let's talk about some additional recommendations to enhance your gaming experience. One thing that I highly recommend is installing popular mods that can add features, creatures, or even whole new maps to explore. The Arc modding community is a vibrant and diverse offering endless possibilities to tailor your gameplay to your preference. Another great tip is to regularly back up your server files. This ensures that you won't lose your progress or modifications in case of any unforeseen issues. You can consider backing up any essential files to a cloud service such as Dropbox or Google Drive from within your Windows VPS. Lastly, don't forget to join ARC survival communities and forums. You'll find a wealth of knowledge, support, and fellow gamers to connect with. Share your experience, tips, and tricks, and you can make your ARC survival journey even more enjoyable. I hope this video has been helpful in guiding you through the process of setting up your very own ARC survival server on a Windows VPS. Remember, Racknerd is here to support you every step of the way. So if you haven't already, head over to Racknerd.com to explore our VPS hosting solutions today and start creating your ultimate ARC survival world. Get ready for an adventure like no other. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.